Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Centre for Early Music here in York in the UK. Um, I am delighted to welcome you, the audience here this evening, and the wider audience that we trust and hope is listening to us uh, on their computers across Europe. Um, the National Centre for Early Music was established in the year 2000 in this beautifully restored medieval church of St Margaret's to the east of the city, within the city walls of York, uh, and is one of many beautiful churches that have been converted and used into something rather wonderful, and in this case, of course, the most perfect venue for the National Centre for Early Music. Um, tonight, we'll be welcoming four performers who are very familiar to audiences in York. Directed by Professor Peter Seymour at the University of York, we're working with soprano Bethany Seymour, whose surname is rather similar for a very good reason, that she is his daughter, um, with Jennifer Cohen, who is the most wonderful flautist working at the moment at the University of York uh, under Peter's tutelage, um, and Ian. Um, Ian Hoggett is particularly well known to audiences here, not only for being an extraordinarily good recorder and bassoon player, but also for working in the box office, for looking after our young instrumental ensemble that meets every Saturday, for helping out with the staging, and for generally being part of the NCM team. Um, I am particularly thrilled to be working with the University of York and this remarkably talented quartet, and also to be working with UNESCO, and UNESCO are supporting this worldwide, well, European-wide day to celebrate early music, Bach's birthday, and despite the weather in this country just at the moment, the first day of spring. Um, if I may, I shall now welcome the quartet to the stage, and you will join me by saying welcome.
vengo a voi per cerca morte che il mio duole si forte a non trovar mai pace altro che in lei oh, un ninfa gentile e l'amo tanto che per soverchio amore al fin perde me stesso il cor perde dalla gran fiamma oppresso 
uh, original programme that uh, we put out for this, which still appears on the REMA website, though not your programmes are correct, uh, uh, amazingly there was no JS Bark, and it's unlikely to miss out uh, JS Bark from any of the programmes I do, and especially on his birthday. And uh, when, I was, when we were planning the programme, we didn't put three and three together and make five. And uh, so we've switched uh, a small bit, which appears on the REMA programme, some songs from the <coughs> Vauxhall Gardens, uh, for a couple of pieces of bark. And when we said we ought to do these, <coughs> Bethany immediately said, oh, we should do one, obviously, with each uh, wind instrument. And the obvious one to do uh, first, uh, especially after that sorrow uh, of the... Uh, Handel was delighted in wallowing uh, in, in Italy... I uh, had to do with something with the Sunday afternoons. And uh, he uh, is a, a rather upbeat uh, aria from Bach's Coffee Cantata, which is a, a, a dizzy blonde soprano, <laughs> uh, ably played by uh, Bethany, accompanied by a dizzy blonde flute. Uh, <laughs> tist. Uh, <laughs> and as, uh, as you see here, it's about a, a story of a... Uh, a dizzy blonde young girl in Leipzig who uh, said that uh, as long as her father would consent uh, to let her go out and find a man, uh, then uh, she was willing to give up not only muscatel wine, but her three cups of coffee a day. Uh, so we have a dizzy blonde soprano, a dizzy blonde alto, and a dizzy blonde half. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
the second aria of Bach is a very different uh, kettle of fish. It's one of the, from one of the sacred cantatas, as opposed to the last aria, which is from one of his secular cantatas, probably for Zimmermann's Coffee House in Leipzig. And uh, this is from an early uh, cantata from Weimar, cantata 21. Uh, ich uh, hatte viel Pecuminis, something close to that. Uh, anyway, this is an aria, about the third movement, Zeus and sorrow, weeping, comfort and care. Is that right? Sighing and care, comma, no, it's sighing, yes. Well, you'll hear that in the words, you'll guess what it is, regardless of what I've translated it.
ladies and gentlemen, here at the National Centre for Early Music in York and wherever else you may be listening, we wish you a very happy J.S. Bach birthday and first day of spring. And if you could join me here again in thanking, indeed, uh, Bethany Seymour, soprano, Jennifer Cohen, flute, Ian Hoggett, recorder, and Peter Seymour, continuum. Thank you very much.